So, Eric, I'm hiding from you. I'm scared of you. Really. They ain't shit to be scared of, man. You, you, you're a fucking teenage punk that's living and making videos in your fucking mother's basement. And that's a fucking term that's thrown out a lot around here on, on this, you know, trash talking circle. But you really make your fucking videos in your parents' basement. I mean, you think I'm afraid. What the fuck? You know, I love, I love internet gangsters. I love internet gangsters because what an internet gangster is, is somebody that has balls enough to talk shit and say outrageous fucking things over the internet because you have no repercussion from when you do it like you would in somebody's face, face to face. Kid, you know what? That's what I don't do on here. I don't sit here and talk shit to somebody, call them a fucking pussy, call them every kind of fucking name that they can think of, you know, because it sounds good. That's what you like to do. Oh, I look like Andy Reid. I'm mixed between Andy Reid and a fucking walrus in a Bronx Zoo. Really? You got these... That, that's just about as clever as you can get with your fucking eighth grade ass. Come on now. And then what really kills me, what really fucking kills me about you, is you want to throw out a $500 bet to a, a fucking Phillies fan? Any Phillies fan that, that wants to take it? Who's going to bet you on something that you don't fucking have? You don't make that much in allowance in a year. How are you going to pay a $500 when you lose that bet? trying to hear it man I'm not trying to hear it you're a fucking joke see right now you caught the Phillies in one of the worst fucking slumps that they've been in in years it's that say you know that it's that simple you fucking know that everybody in baseball knows that the Phillies are not playing how they how they how they usually play that's not something that nobody's hiding you know I don't show up when the Phillies are winning, I don't show, uh, I don't disappear when they're losing. It's called the fucking offseason at NFL. That's pro that's what I came on here to begin with for. You know, I'll make Phillies videos when I feel like it. I'll make Flyers videos when I feel like it. I, hell, I might even make a fucking Sixers video when I feel like it. Don't you fucking worry about when I make a fucking video or not, because making a video for any of my fucking teams doesn't show how much of a fan I am. You know? I mean, look, like right now, I'm traveling. I'm in a fucking hotel. I'm in a Hampton Inn right now. I have a life. <laughs> I have a life with things to do instead of making videos in my fucking mother's basement every two days. Sorry. I mean, I guess, you know, once you graduate from high school one day, you know, you'll learn about what having a life is other than, you know, making videos in your mother's basement. Because like I said, the term making videos in your mother's basement gets thrown out a lot. It's almost cliche. But you, you really make videos in your mother's basement. So, whatever. What the fuck are you to be afraid of? Because, you know, all that little name calling you did, I, th I think shit like that is funny because I know for fact, I know for a fucking fact that nothing like that would be said to my face by you. So, I can't take it seriously. Really. I really can't. It's, it's a fucking joke to me. I find it humorous. That's why I don't say shit to people like that on the internet because, I, you know, I'm not a hateful person. I don't care what team you like. I'm not a hateful. I hate your team. I hate your fucking team. And, Eric, I don't like you because you're a fucking dumbass little fucking prick. But, you know, and, and that is something I would say to your face, by the way. I would. You don't fucking know me. So, I would. But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't go around acting all internet gangster and whatever it's just it's stupid to me and a lot of people act like it you know so but as far as the Phillies and Mets goes you know have fun while you can while you're on top above us see because I remember a statement that you made uh, along the lines of how does your ass taste <laughs> and uh, you know and also how you know, good good luck against the Yankees, you know. That should be bad for us. Well, we took two or three out of, you know, from the Yankees. And yesterday we started a series against Minnesota. We beat the shit out of them. So I'm thinking that, you know, we're 
on the end of our slump where it was starting to pick back up. And God help the fucking Mets and the Braves when we do. Because first place is ours. It always has been for the last three years. It's just on loan right now. All right. Don't think that we're going to fucking, you know, slouch off and, you know, give it away. This team is way too better than that. You know that, Eric. This team knows what it takes to win, Eric. And the Mets, excuses, yeah. The injury card, last year, I'll give you, I, I, I'll give you, I'll give you credit. You know, that's a valid excuse that you can use for last year. But the thing is with the team, I can separate the team from the fans. And the Mets fans, the Mets fans are the biggest fucking idiots I know in baseball. You talk way more shit. Like, it's, it's crazy because Mets fans for the last three years have talked way more shit than Phillies fans. But yet, with all the shit talking that the Mets fans do, you would think the fucking Mets have been going and winning World Series and going to the World Series and winning division titles and pennants and all that. No, you haven't won shit. You haven't won a fucking thing. So, I understand. You gotta hate the best. And right now, in the National League, we're the best. It's just, you know, I'd rather have this slump now than in August and September, you know, when it counts. Something the Mets don't know about. So, fuck, they couldn't get past uh, the Cardinals in NLCS a couple of years ago. That's as bad as that. Is that the best you can do? One division title? Lose the pennant? Hey, whatever. So, whatever. But hey, Eric, what it all boils down to is winning stuff. Winning championships. Something the Phillies have been doing, and you know that. But hey, I got something for you. I got something for you. How's that? You see that, Eric? That's what it's all about right there. Why don't you pause the camera real quick so you can look at that. Take a little snapshot picture. There you go. That's what it's all about. That's what it, that's what it all comes down to. So... Eric, don't say nothing to me on camera that you wouldn't say to my face. Stop being a little internet gangster because you can't even pass as that. You like one of them nerdy fucking kids, man, that, you know, goes to after school computer classes and learns about the new fucking Windows XP 35,000 that's coming out in 12 years from now. You're a fucking nerd, man. I mean, it's plain and simple. And I would tell you that to your face, too, by the way. Just so you know. So. I'm going to stop playing games with you. You know, and it's, it's funny because me and Meet the Mets, Meet the Amazons, he, he, I, he goes by both names. Me and him, we're cool, man. We can talk shit. We, we love talking shit to each other. We love talking shit to each other. We do all the time on Facebook, on fucking, not well, more on Facebook than, than anything, but, you know. He's a cool Mets fan. You are a fucking juvenile idiot that thinks you're just above everybody or something. I don't know, but hey, whatever. For some reason, I'm afraid of you. I don't know why. I'm afraid of a fucking juvenile that makes videos out of his mother's basement, literally. And, uh, you know, whatever. But hey, Phillies are back on the upswing. Just so you know. So, I'm having fun with my travels while I'm scared of your ass, apparently. So, I'm avoiding you. I'm talking you like you're a fucking high roller in the TTC. Oh, okay. I'm afraid of you. Whatever. Yeah, okay. I understand. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> As Charles Barkley would say, that's terrible. That's terrible. Terrible. So, anyway. Fuck the Mets. Eric, you know what? Just because I would say it to your face, fuck you. So, that's all I got to say, man. I ain't got nothing else to say. Peace. Phillies are coming back. Like I said, the division's on loan. We're getting it back. That's all I'm saying.